Next, it's a lightweight bout between Bruce Lee and Paul Felder. All right, so here we go, round one. I can barely hear myself think in this arena right now. Two of the most dominant, well-rounded fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all of mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. Oh, spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. Loaded up on that right hand, too. Oh. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. Just misses with the straight right. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Oh, yes, it is a lost art in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. I mean, a beautiful double jab. That thing's throwing right from the chin, too. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Straight right hand now just misses. Oh, spinning back fist. Real quick leg kick. Just over two minutes, round one. Out of range with that one. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. And just misses with that big right hand. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Here's the kick blocked by Felder. Way to hide that leg kick. So just over 20 total strikes and counting have landed for Paul Felder. Immediately gets the underhook. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. Beautiful strike. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Twenty seconds left. Lee's shot there is blocked. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, second round is underway. Your thoughts on what we saw over the first five minutes? I saw a very competitive round. It was very strategic. Expect these guys to really pick it up as we go forward in this fight. Oh, nice strike landed there by the Irish Dragon, Paul Felt. Kick to the body by Lee. Oh, high-level defense there. The hook shot is blocked by Felder. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Well, the leg kicks have been a big storyline in this one, and there's another one. So he continues to slow his opponent down, and nice poker face on the other side. I'm not sure how many more he can take. He won't be able to take many more. Think about Edson Barbosa, how he lands those beautiful leg kicks, no wind-up, so fast. Eventually, guys get stopped from taking too many. This seems to be the path that he is wanting to take tonight in this fight. Right hand punch from the clinch. 
What a punch. a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. Big leg kick land. And he landed the right hand there. Ooh! Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Nice strike. High level MMA defense there, able to avoid the punch. Nice job by Lee. The right hand just misses. Ooh, blocks the shot. Oh, collar tie. Final seconds here of round number You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. All right, let us look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC punches in bunches. I mean, over and over, he landed that big punch. And every time he landed it, he got the reaction that he was looking for. His opponent really did start to take notice every time he was loading that strike up. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight to this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. You expect somebody to get ahead, but they've both been so evenly matched. We're still right where we started. Punch over the top. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Felder's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. Blocks the shot. Oh, a nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. 66 total strikes. And now, oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, no! Big knee to the body. Just misses there with the left. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right. Oh! He didn't like that left hand. Down defense there as he blocks the shot. Big head kick lands. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Lee gets caught with that punch. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Beautifully placed there by Felder. Head kick there, blocked by Lee. Oh, there. He could 
be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or at his mama's house for Thanksgiving. Uh -huh. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him out. The fight's done. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Nice punch, Lance. What else can you say but what a fight? All right, so a lot to like over the distance of that fight tonight. Clearly, we think we saw one guy win the fight and largely got it done with the striking. Yeah, he got it done with the striking. And that's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a guy that's so comfortable whenever he's in the stand-up. And that showed tonight as he truly outworked his opponent. The official decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. 